Welcome to another episode of Fougere Family Adventures. Today, we're gonna to do something that we haven't done before. We're gonna confirm and we're gonna check our line counter reels. We have three different types. We have two Daiwa Lexus, we have a 300 and a 400, and we have our Akuma Avion Kokani combo line counter reel. All of these reels have 10 pound test Maxima Ultra Green on them. Now, line counter reels, depending on how much line you have on the reel, they can read differently. And you want to be able to repeat your setback every single time when you find that ideal distance behind your boat. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get the latest videos that we have coming to you soon. So we're gonna try this three times and we're going to see if we get the same results on the Avion line counter reel. Austin has a big tape measure. Austin is going to walk us out here. We're gonna do three tests here. We're gonna see exactly how accurate this thing is. I have 10 pound test Maxima Ultra Green line on this reel. The spool is almost full. Now you wanna make sure these spools are full and they'll read as accurate as they can. Here's our first set. We're gonna see what our setback is. We're gonna hit the reset button and Ethan is gonna walk us out to 100 feet. I should probably release the spool. There you have it. 101 feet on the line counter reel and we're 100 feet on the tape measure, not bad. We're gonna try a second time. We're gonna reset our line counter. We're gonna pretend that our setup is beside the side of our boat. I'm gonna release the spool and Ethan's gonna walk us to 100 feet again. Okay. Our second test shows 103 feet. So it's not the same. I had to adjust a little bit there, but it was in between 103 and 102. Not as accurate, but pretty decent. Here's our third test on the Akuma line counter reel. Reset the line counter and Ethan is now gonna walk us back. Be very interesting to see if we're in between 101 and 103. That's good enough for me. That's close enough to 100 feet. We have 102 feet. So that's pretty good. I'm quite impressed with this Akuma line counter reel. We are now going to test the Daiwa Lexa 300. This is by far one of my favorite line counter reels that I've had. I have the Akuma and I have two Daiwas, a 300 and a 400. This 300 fits nicely in your hand. Austin is now going to walk us out after we reset the line counter and he's gonna walk us out to 100 feet. The 300 at 100 feet reads 95. This one's off by five feet. Now why is this different than the Akuma? We're gonna try a second time. Reset the line counter reel our spool is full. It's just as full as the Akuma was. And I'm using 10 pound test Maxima Ultra Green line. Reset the line counter. Austin, walk us back. This is the second test, 93. We are at 93 feet, but 100 feet on the tape. All right, our third test, we're gonna try one more time. That's our third test, 93 feet, at 100 feet on the tape. The disclaimer, do not try this at home. We're using live gear. These are Maruto hooks. These things will stick. <laughs> we are now using our Daiwa Lexa 400 reel. I'm gonna reset the line counter reel and Ethan's gonna take us back. That's good, you say? Okay, all right. Come this way. That is 100 feet for the Daiwa Alexa 400 and 100 feet on the tape. Okay, we are gonna do another reset and Ethan's gonna bring us back to 100 feet. This reel here, I find it's a little big for kokanee fishing. We're actually using it for jigging for lake trout. That's why we have a buzz bomb on this right now. So if you're over the side of your boat, you know that you're going right down to the exact depth that you want to jig at. 
That one there was a little different. We're in between 96 and 97 feet. That's pretty close. Dive Alexa 400 10 pound test Maxima Ultra Green Line. This will be our third and final test on the Dive Alexa 400. Our third test of the Dive Alexa 400 is 97 feet on the line counter reel and 100 feet on the tape. So this one here wasn't as accurate, but that's close enough for me. I hope you really like this video. I had to know for myself, and I thought, why not make a video? Test all the different line counter reels that I have and see how accurate they are. And as you can see, the three different types of line counter reels that I have read pretty close to where I need them to read. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel.